Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm obviously happy because um, today, what'd you say? Daddy's coming home. Um, he's been away for almost two months. Hey, look at my dress. Oh, Juliet, wa Juliet wants me to show you her little outfit. I have these sandals. Like one of those handmade dresses. Um, I, I forgot who gave it to you. And your sandals, yeah. yeah some, some shorts under. Do you want to show us your outfit, Jane? We got a skirt with some cute shoes and a unicorn top. Cute. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing all black today. Wait. But today I'm wearing all black. It's good. Thank you, Tina. Mom. Are going he should be there like like with like in an hour so we're going to head over there to the base to go pick him up. I don't really mention this I think but like he's a he's a soldier so pretty like that's why he's been away. That's his job. But anyway, and um I also want to make tacos de lengua today so when we come back after picking him up I'm going to stop the Italian grocery store because on the base it's like an American like you know grocery store on the military base but um off base like i usually find like you know more things so well yeah sort of we've purchased a lengua before and yeah you'll just see later but that's where i'm supposed to buy it because the one i have that i purchased is frozen has been frozen for many months and i just rather purchase a fresh one so i'm hoping they have one because last time we went they only had one left and i didn't get it because it looked too small and i don't know it just didn't look Good to me. Um, hopefully we do got tacos de lengua, but I'll talk to him and see if we decide on something else. Um, but yeah, let's get started with the day. We are super excited because I think he's here. We saw his bus. Wait, is it? I don't even know. Where's the bus? Probably. Oh, is it this one? Is oh this his bus? Yes, it is. Well, he told me he'll meet me over here, so I'll just wait over here. <laughs> the girls were so excited. They were eating a pizza in the car while we waited, but and I they I want my pizza. I could eat it later. And <laughs> Jill was like, actually, I want to eat my pizza later. doesn't want to give me hugs because oh he's God. stinky. He says he's stinky. It's not like shit, dude. So I'm tonight, sure. I'm going to tell him the same thing. <laughs> Are you guys happy he's here? Yeah. Oh my goodness. How do you feel to be in our in this car again with your girls? I only have the eye. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Two hours later. So we got home, and then Julian needed to go use the restroom and poop. shower. Poop. He wanted to go poop. chain. It like uh. he, he needed to go to the restroom. Ow! And shower, and um, and yeah, it's been like I don't know how long, and we are just here waiting for him. We're There's watching three of us. Now we're on my bed and even peanut look at him. He's angling his body towards the restroom and waiting for Zaddy to come out. We're all waiting. And I'm so tired. And what the hell? It's like we should just send him back on. He's not. No. I'm just kidding. I don't my butt. I love the color of my face. I love that. Pretty girl. Such both a nice color. Yeah, what do you Today is the next day after we didn't end up making the tacos de lengua yesterday because we were just tired and mostly Julian was tired from the long travel back. We decided to just postpone the tacos and make them today and Julian took the cart today and we have another cart but the cart seats are not in it so I decided to just walk to our grocery store that's um, in our town and um, we're going to pick up the lengua hopefully to have it out here in Italy like business is closed like around like noon or 1 o'clock p.m. so our grocery store closes at 1 and it reopens at 3 30 so I'm hoping that we make it because it's like 12 30 right now and um it's not far so it should only be like a 10 15 minute walk but we'll see so here we go I'm gonna show you guys our walk our little area 
And we're walking with the girls on their scooters. There's a castle that we see from like our bedroom, oh, the girls' bedroom. You can see all the corn growing on these huge corn stalks. You want to touch them? I don't know. It might be a little bit bumpy. You can, I think you can touch it. I don't think there's bugs. As long as we don't like pull them or are rough with them. Here's a little gelato shop by our home that we come to sometimes. It's our like bakery. I've only been there once because it closes really early and you have to be there early if you want to catch it while it's open. Mommy's putting food in the, uh, she's buying food. We haven't got a car yet, so maybe we could buy the one right there because we have scooters. No bikes allowed in here. But only, maybe if there's a little kid scooter, you could bring a little kid scooter in. Like the two. Oh. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. But, um, so this is my mom. This is my real life mom. She's my step mom. <laughs> there are She's actually our real one. I'm just okay. kidding. So we have to, there's a, a barcode for everything and this is how you weigh out your, your produce. So there's a sticker that comes out of this thing. It has to say Beshes. That's what we're looking for. Just choose one today because uh, I will. Okay. Can you put this in the cart? Mm -hmm. We are walking back and I only came for mint, tomatoes, and limes and the tongue. And but I got lots of that. Yeah. And the bag definitely fit in like I'm the girls kept one. throwing more things it, in like luckily the bag isn't too heavy and i purchased one of these reusable bags that had one like this but i don't know i think i lost it i don't know where it ended up i think my husband julian probably used it for something if you guys are excited to see us make our tacos then stay tuned and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe guys all right so we're back home and i just want to quickly show you guys like little grocery haul here in um, Italy like I guess just to show you guys how things look out here oh that's good so blueberries here we got some grapes um, one mango a few tomatoes they were they came out to a euro and sub. The girls wanted these peaches, so we got two of these. I also wanted one of these like little lunch snacks. It comes with like a little juice, a cheese, and these like like breadsticks, but they're like harder. So these are like a good little snack. Some fresh pineapple. Here's the other one. Some limes for our tacos later. This one came out to two euro twelve cents. A pack of lettuce. A pack of gum and this gum is um xylitol gum so it's like more natural and it's like actually pretty good for your teeth i got some fresh mint the cow tongue i feel like this is gonna gross out some of you but if you've had tacos at lengua then hopefully it doesn't gross you out and um just a steak because the girls i don't know if they're gonna be into the tacos de lengua because i don't think they they might have tried them once at my grandma's house at my nana's house but um i'm, I'm gonna make the uh some like beef tacos as well for them just in case and when you get out of this kitchen you're gonna see a blurry so the total of that was 39.90 so it was almost 40 euro and in uh dollars i would say it's about 45 dollars so it's not much of a difference so i'll see you guys again later when we're making the lengua Hey guys, so I am going to put the lengua to boil. This is my first time making this ever, so I've never done this before, but I did ask my mother-in-law for her recipe. And um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm honestly a little grossed out by like just touching it and everything. I'm just used to eating the lengua, not making the lengua. Okay, so um, what I have to do first is remove like the unwanted fat from this. So I'm gonna like open it up and see. I don't really see any unwanted fat, like, I don't really know what that would mean or look like you know that at the end once it's soft you remove the skin so let me just check if there's any fat oh <laughs> girl you can see like the pores yeah, like the 
taste buds or whatever it's called. Okay, so I'm going to add the whole head of garlic, which came out to like about eight garlic cloves. And here they are. I'm gonna to toss that in. And then um, I'm just gonna put like a few leaves of mint. the girls stay going um i'm hoping and thinking that they will like the lengua tacos but i yeah i'm gonna cook it on this pan right now and then um Julia should be home any minute so so i'm about to get the steak in there somebody got a fresh haircut <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to vlog going to the mall while he got his haircut and the girls and I went shopping but I had to make the lengua today. <laughs> Do you want to come look at the food? It's not uh, like it, it came out really good. So what Jane, what did you think about the lengua? Good. Julia said it was good too. It was really good. I gave Julia chips so she could eat with her um guacamole. I don't know why, but I just... Here's my taco. <laughs> mm. It's so good. It's so awesome. Delicious. I'm glad you like it. It doesn't hurt anymore. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cory, mm. take some more avocado and more chips. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we ended up finishing up our dinner and then we didn't I didn't vlog anymore because we were just busy eating and then Peanut came in and he had a poopy butt and he rubbed his butt on the carpet. So, yeah, there was like a mess going on. But we're getting ready for bed now. So I just wanted to close out this video. Thank you so much for watching. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.